Welcome back with me, Brian. We're in my office and we're going to examine now this very early American Bible. It's a family Bible from the second decade of the 19th century. It's in its original period, full leather binding. This is interesting. It's uh, this little discoloration or patch or whatever it is is original to the binding and you do see this on 19th century bindings where evidently the leather was um, repaired at some point prior to the binding process. There are a couple small little holes like so. There is a short little split up here but the covers are still uh, firmly and well attached uh, and the binding is sturdy. Uh, and we're going to now see here that it is an 1814 imprint. Philadelphia, Matthew Carey, a very well-known uh, printer and publisher, Irish immigrant. Uh, and we're going to, uh, I'll flip through the book so that you can get uh, an overview of how it survives. It's a very nice uh, Bible that's very well illustrated. There are these uh, engraved, uh, quite large actually, uh, folding maps. The engraver, Bauer, is there, a known uh, early American engraver. And of course, we begin with Genesis like so. Here's a very nice map uh, of Canaan. Uh, and this is also uh, by Bauer. And there are other maps and plates throughout the Bible, like here's one right here. This is a timeline chart that and so it goes uh, it's because the Bible is uh, several hundred pages I don't know 800 pages or something uh, it's not going to be possible to show you every plate within it um, but I will show you uh, a nice selection so you can see there's a very nice uh, folding map like so there's an engraved plate and here it is another nice folding map of the Holy Land, like so. Yeah. And we'll continue on like this. Set the book down, hold up the back uh, like this. And I'm going to flip through it so you can see whether there's a discoloration or foxing, which really the internal uh, pages here, for the most part, are relatively clean. There's just minor normal uh, foxing, which is not offensive or severe. But basically, it's uh, clean. Uh, here is another one, uh, Danville, uh, based on Danville. And here's another nice, that's a, that's a stipple engraving. Yeah, very well done. That's a pleasing engraving there. And here we go towards, I think we'll be getting uh, at the back, of course. Yes, we're already up to, well, here we are, page 700. And we're going to come up to the New Testament at some point, I do believe. Here we are, New Testament, 1814. There, so yes, the Bible's 834 pages uh, before we get to the New Testament. And here we begin with that engraving, like so. It appears to be almost a stipple engraving. Here's a very nice uh, plan of ancient Jerusalem. And Okay, here's another plate, like so. Yeah, nice, nice rich dark impressions on these plates. Uh, the plates are not worn out at this stage of their printing. Um, and they're well inked. Yeah, nice dark, yeah, Last Supper there. Okay, and John baptizing Christ here, the flight into Egypt, and like this. Okay, so. There is one more folding map here, which I'll show you. Travels of the Apostles, like so, Voyage of St. Paul. Okay, and let's go on like this. Okay, and so, right, we're going to get to the index coming up here. Okay, index, like so. There's quite a bit of uh, material uh, after uh, the two works. And then there's this very detailed, this is really detailed concordance, okay, with its own title page, which interestingly enough is 1813. Uh, it's by Brown. So what Carey would have done here is taken separately uh, printed and published works and then bound them all together into this family atlas. Uh, the end papers are also present. Uh, and so uh, there we've examined it. 
And if this book interests you, uh, it is available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.